What's up guys welcome back to the video so today I have another interesting design from SDK tutorial video for you guys and so in today's video I'm going to be sharing you guys and talking to you guys about AI covers now this is one thing that I told you guys I would make a video for in the previous video where I showed you guys how to set up a checkpoint game mode and now this is what this video is going to cover so as you guys can see, I already have a few cover actors down on my map uh, because this is actually the second time I'm recording this because I messed something up in the video and I couldn't really, um, I wasn't really happy with it uh, because um, if I didn't add the, the specific thing in the video, uh, you guys might have a little bit uh, struggled a little bit with uh, some of the stuff. So. Um, Let's get to it. So I'm going to go through the steps to what I did and then um, you guys can just do the same. Now, um, I do know you can, um, how I did it currently is I made a separate level called Tutorial AI. Um, now obviously this is going to be whatever name your, uh, so Tutorial is going to be whatever map, uh, uh, whatever uh, your map's name is. And the TM is just for me to extinguish. This is like part of my mod so this the tm could be like your mod id uh, but obviously you don't have to use the tm that's just uh, because my mod's name is the total mod so i use tm uh, so whatever your mod id is uh, you uh, put that in there so um the first thing that you would obviously do is right click and say level and then uh, name it you can name it the same as this if you don't want to just name it something else um and then after you've done that, you just go over here and say add existing and then just add it in here. And um, what you do then is double click on tutorial AL so you can actually open this level. And as you guys can see, here's all of the AI actors that I already placed down. And now this just makes it a little bit cleaner so you don't have to uh, uh, clutter up your persistent level um, anymore. Um, but so uh, the one thing that I missed was um, after you've done all of this, you want to go into your scenario. So let me quickly go to my, if you're in your main content folder of your mod, you want to go into scenarios and over here you want to go into checkpoint. Now you could uh, put this in all of your scenarios just so if you are, if you are, if you did decide to like, um, enable AI on any of the other game modes um, uh, it, your AI actors will like work on all of those different scenarios so on the right here you want to add another sub level because this is um, another sub level that needs to be loaded and so all you need to do is down here uh, we want to copy the name um, of our sub level so I'm gonna quickly go on this side also to my mod go to maps tutorial and then just copy the name of this uh, tutorial AI level and I'm gonna go to my scenario and just paste this in there like so and so now this level will also be loaded or the scenario will know to load the sub level otherwise uh, the the cover actors might not work um so you might not have to do this but this is just a little bit to be a little bit safer uh, so you definitely know that when you play uh, your scenario that it will load uh, the sub level where all of your cover actors are inside of so i'm going to quickly do this to all of my um scenarios so um if you have um, more than one scenario or more than just the checkpoint scenario um, uh, just do this for all of them now this all depends on if you are making your map for just pvp or um, for pvp and pve so there will be ai on your map for instance so just doing the last one Now paste it in there. So I'm gonna save, close, save. So once you've 
done all of this you should be all good to go and then just click save okay so the next thing is um you want to go to if you have a second cauldron browser open uh, if you don't know how to do this go to view uh go into content browser and just check the second one and it will open it up here now if it isn't on this bottom all you need to do is just drag it down and put your mouse like on the right corner here and it will snap like so and so you want to go into the main content folder of the SDK up here and now you want to go to game AI actors and then here is the AI cover actor that you want to use now I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to how it basically works or whatever and then you guys can go around and place your cover actors all over your map um, and so um, there's not really a limit to how many you can place down but you want to place down enough uh, so that the AI has uh, a lot of like options uh, to where they can take cover when you're actually capturing objective or uh, defending now I will be making a separate video on showing you guys how to add um, uh, I think it's um, shit I forgot um, the other damn it uh, reinforcement spawn zones or reinforcement um, I can't remember what the name was exactly sorry if I if I can't remember it right now but uh, that's also a second thing because currently uh, the AI actually spawns on one of the the previous like uh, spo uh, like cap objectives so over here is A and this one is B and over here uh, on this building all the way here is C and the AI will basically spawn at the nearest one so I think they spawn here and then I run all the way here but I have seen them sometimes come over here come from over here um, so I don't know <laughs> what is exactly it is that's wrong currently but um, anyways so you want to drag this out like so and you guys will see it sh would it will show red if it's like clipping into the world so you always want to make sure it's like white when you have it selected and that means it is a okay and now all you can do is you can like turn this around um, and so let's quickly maybe put this um, uh, let's put this one uh, let's we can let's put it like on this corner of this like little building here like so and so now this one will basically like look in a 180 degree and now all you need to do is change the settings is click on the cover here in the details panel and here you can change the stands now um, you can go from normal stand crouch prone uh, vehicle I don't know I'm not sure what the vehicle is exactly for but then swim or climb so this was this is for if you want let's say you have a wall somewhere and you want AI to be able to like climb over it uh, you would add like uh, a cover the, one of the cover actors like uh, just behind that wall I'm guessing I haven't really played around with that yet and obviously I don't have a lot of cover yet um, like other like I just recently placed these Hesco walls and stuff to like uh, prepare for this video uh, but um, yeah so that's basically it you placed down the air cover so um, you can now like play a little bit around with the settings now over here you guys will see there's also like these check boxes here and then one is for launcher priority scope machine gunner and ambush so and then also rank so the rank is basically um what the ai is gonna look at um um before they like would probably like run to that cover actor so if this actor for instance has like a rank of two the AI would most likely always run here first uh, before taking any of the other um, cover AI cover actors. So um, unless this, the rest of the cover actors are less than two, 
uh, this one will also like take priority for instance um, and so on and so on so uh, let's quickly place down another one so uh, let's quickly go in this building here and let's say we want the AI to be like in this corner here but we want them to be like in a crouch mode so I'm gonna uh, just turn them so it's a little bit like this and now you want to go back to the cover and then we're going to put the stand to crouch and as you guys can see the actual actor box thingy also like adjusts for the stands so it like it's nice to like indicate or show you that it's which stand it is actually in and so let's quickly put another one down here now one thing you you don't want to do is you can't uh, like let's say you have this one selected you can't control c and control v and paste it and move it it's not it's not gonna work and they also do say uh, you can't do that so you would you will just have to like drag out this actor every time you place down anyone you can't copy and paste um it, it is a little it does suck a little bit but that's just part of it so uh, that's just something you have to deal with so the next thing we want to do is let's keep this on um stand or we can even put this um no let's leave it as is but uh, let's put like this ambush node on and let's put this to a one and uh, but let's make this radius a little bit bigger so this ai can actually look a little bit uh, in a bigger range so let's make this uh 250 uh, not 2.5 uh 250 like so and let's quickly turn him a little like so and then let's keep him still in this corner that he would like look uh, a little bit all around him it's a little bit of a worse position or to put this at 250 but I just want to show you guys uh, everything that you can do and um, that's basically all you really need to do so you just go around placing down AI covers and um, the AI will uh, like use them as you place them down. Now, obviously, um, this might take a little. It might be a little bit of time consuming, um, but you do want to go around and set all of these to a certain rank. Um, because if you put it to zero, they will use all of these cover actors. You just, if you want uh, to make a certain uh, cover actor have like a priority. Um, you would want to like set um, each and every cover actor a certain rank but um, yeah uh, that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and um, I'll see you guys in the next one